Hello beautiful people, welcome again to Solicious Cuisine. I hope you're all doing well. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this delicious Cameroonian egusi sauce. Or you can also call it egusi stew. Egusi, for those who don't know, are just melon seeds. And these can be paired with yam, rice, cassava, plantain, whatever you may like to eat it with so stay tuned and watch how to make this so for this recipe i'm using as protein mackerel fish you can use any protein of choice seasoning cubes and salt grounded egusi some ginger and garlic paste and some of my green seasonings you can leave that out if you don't have some chopped onions chopped parsley and spring onions some extra onions which will be used later tomatoes and pepper as you can see i have some habanero pepper there which will all be roughly blend later on next in the hot pan i will add some vegetable oil let it heat for a while after which i will add some chopped onions this is just to give some more flavor and i'll be frying the fish so if you decide to use fish for this recipe just like me you must not fry the fish you can as well use your air fryer or your oven but if you're using another protein sauce like chicken cow meat then you don't need to fry them you can just boil them and use them like that while the fish is frying i'm just going to roughly blend my tomatoes and my pepper so it's about four minutes or five if i'm not mistaken and i'm just going to flip side of my fish i'm just going to turn it and let the other side fry and why the other part or the other side of the fish will be frying i'm just going to prepare my egusi into a paste to make the paste i'm using water but if for this recipe you decide to use chicken or beef kindly use the stock from the chicken or the beef to do this mixture and make sure you mix until smooth so at this point the fish is ready and i will just take it off the heat i didn't really fry the fish too dry i don't like it too dry so i think i fried the fish for about eight to ten minutes next to the same oil I will add my onion so I reduced the oil because it was quite much and I'm just going to saute the onion for like one to two minutes after which I will add the tomatoes and the pepper give it a proper mix together and then cover and let it cook for about 10 minutes So after a while this is how you want your tomato to look like so basically i didn't really cook this for 10 minutes i just let it cook until the water dried up so this is how the tomatoes should look after which i'm going to add the egusi ginger and garlic paste some salt and some seasoning and i'm going to mix this and let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes So it's been 20 minutes. I cooked this on a low heat for 20 minutes. I'm so sorry how this video looks like right now. The camera played a one on me. Next, I'm going to add some white pepper, add the fish, stir, 
and make sure that every seasoning is okay for me. I also went ahead and added some seasoning, some bouillon powder and a little bit of salt and some water. So at this point, you just want to make sure that all your ingredients or your aroma are up to your taste after which i'm going to cover and let it simmer again for another 10 minutes it's important to do this step by step so that your egusi will be well cooked to avoid diarrhea or from being bloated after 10 minutes the last but not the least thing we are going to add will be the chopped spring onions and parsley so after that you can pair this with yam rice plantain any one of your choice and enjoy i will be pairing mine with some rice have you been watching till this moment i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and share if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. And until I see you in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other. God bless you. Bye-bye.